Malcolm Turnbull has popped up in front of the cameras again, this time attacking the government on climate change. It came as his former colleagues put in place new rules to make sure what happened to him never happens again. A party needing a reboot and a rebirth, Scott Morrison opens the John Howard Library at Old Parliament House, praising his mentor. Through the tumult, Lazarus emerged. As Liberals hope for their own triple bypass, changing rules late last night to prevent any future Liberal Prime Minister being knifed unless the coup is backed by two thirds of the party room. Such a majority is rarely, if ever, achieved. The Liberal Party has listened to the Australian people. The context at the moment suggests that this is a very sensible, pragmatic, reassuring move. Malcolm still in the middle. You're accompanying me, so I don't have a lot of choice in talking to you. Enjoying the attention, but not consulted over the rule change. Whether it will work or not, I don't know. Well, you know, you can't live your life backwards. Inflicting a new wound. There is a significant uh, percentage of the coalition members who do not believe that climate change is real. Who are these members and how many of them are in your cabinet? I'm not aware that he expressed that view while he was Prime Minister. John Howard confident the party won't splinter. The Liberal Party will not be splitting. The Liberal Party will continue. Also continuing is the ongoing criticism of the government from those who should be friends, not foes. See, Morrison's problem is he's basically a marketing PR type of guy. You know, he's got a pocket full of slogans. You ask him a question, he gives you a slogan. On a good day, it's a three-word slogan. On a more sophisticated day, it's a four-word slogan. Jeer and sneer and all the rest of it. But insults like that are hard to duck. Jonathan Lee for 10 News First.